What is up guys? I'm Ghoul here, and in today's video I'm going to be checking out a deck list for One Piece. And the leader is Monkey D. Luffy. Black. Black, baby. I decided to cook this up because I just was not satisfied with the list that I was finding for him. And I had a, I was building a king deck, so I had all these Animal, animal Kingdom cards, and it just kind of came together. I ended up playing a couple games with it and just I was winning crazy games people that I lose to all the time I was winning granted this is sims so you never know who's on the other end of these but after a couple games I did decide to take out Nightmare Luffy and Thousand Sunny because it just didn't seem to matter that much having this and most of my cards are Animal Kingdom anyways but I'm sorry in advance if this video is a little like clunky because it's my first one and I definitely know want to know what you guys think. Let me know if you like this deck, if you hate it. But I ended up switching them out with Kaidos and I think I added another Ice Age and a Soap Sheep just cause. So it's definitely still a work in progress, but I won't waste too much of your guys time. I'll go through the deck and then I'll show you some gameplay. So of course I got... Monkey, Monkey D. Luffy, Black Leader, which give all your characters plus one cost if you control a cost eight or higher character, this leader gains a thousand power. So around three or four, you can be a, th you can be a six thousand leader, which can be a pain, you know, you keep dropping jacks, and you know, of course you want to drop your Gecko Morias, your Sabos, and it, it tends to work out, you tend to be a six 6k leader by 10 you know by turn four five at the very least if you play your cards right but you know sometimes the deck just does not show up but i got brook staple sabo blocker another staple we got rebecca i don't know if i should add another one of her because i really like to see her early game because i want her in my trash so i can do the gecko uh so i got geckos four geckos Two monkey, nightmare monkey Luffy's, two Sabos. I got four Queen Searchers because this is mostly Animal Kingdoms and I want to pull the Jack early. Uh, I got, let's see, I got Nico Robin. Great card. If you can get her to stick, great card. Sanji, Who's Who, a Scratch Man. Then I got Jack, of course, and then Sazaki. And he's really just a 2K. I don't really play him. I mean, if I don't have anything else to play, I will play him. And he can come in handy because of the negative two cost. But, it, you know, if you can get it off, it'll work. But, because then you can drop Brook on top of, like, you know, a three cost. It, it's just, it's iffy. So... I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's jump into the video, guys. So this is my first matchup with this deck. I was very nervous because I got Lucci. Lucci is very notorious for whooping my butt. Uh, but I end up not getting what I need right now. So I mulligan. I get the queen. Queen is nice. That's who we want to see. I play queen. I flop. Just not able to see what I needed. No animal kingdom cards. That's okay. It happens. And then I end my turn. And just wait nervously for what he's going to do. I got a couple too. I got a 2k. I got two, three 2k's, so I can definitely counter out of anything he's gonna throw at me. I don't want to put too much on the field because I know whatever I put on the field, he's gonna take off. So I'm really thinking about just stacking my hand with 2k's so I can fend him, fend his attacks off without putting my blockers up. So I'm going to fire off at him for 7, magic number, he's going to take it. He's going to hit me, I'm going to block, I'm going to counter it with a 2k. 
Because I have hoo-hoos to give. Who's who? He's gonna spam the boar. Literally, we spammed him. <laughs> it's my turn. I'm really thinking about what I'm gonna do. Because all it takes is one wrong, one misplay, and that could be the game. And this is my first time playing the deck, so I'm really just trying to figure out how it's going to flow. And, you know, how wide am I going to get with it? So I'm weighing my options out. I decide to throw the blocker. I know he's going to try and get rid of it next game, but... I'm gonna swing at Spandom. Because I really don't want. I want as less characters as possible on his board. Less swings is good for me. I know he also wants that Rebecca in his graveyard so he can pull it back out. I'm gonna counter out of it. Because I really don't want to take any life this early in the game. Because late game is when Luchi really shines. He's You can tell he's hes really building his board. He's, he seems like he's getting all the cards that a Luchi deck needs. Which I'm getting some pretty good cards myself. Got a Nico. I'm thinking about it. So I play a who's who, discard, Sabo, because I just don't think I'm going to need him, do I, Sabo or Nico, they're both really good, Nico, Nico's the one I choose, get rid of Hello, my heal, hello, my bow. <laughs> then I swing at him for seven, the magic number. And he takes it. I'm really surprised he actually took that. I thought he was going to counter out of it, or at least maybe block it. Fires back at me. Thinking about taking it, but I have I have two Ks. I know I'm not gonna play some of these two Ks. I end up taking it. Get a gecko. I definitely don't want to get hit again. So I'm gonna counter out of this one. And I'm using this time to really think about what am I going to do next. Because I really don't want to misplay first time running this deck. Ooh, a brook. That's what I need. So I'm debating if I'm going to drop... The Sabo, or if I'm gonna drop the Gecko, because I don't really love what I have in my trash. I mean, I could get some 2Ks. The blockers don't really do much, because he's just gonna get them off the board with cost effects. So I end up doing the Gecko. I get a 2k. Or no, that, he's not a 2k. He's a 1k. 1k blocker. Throw the blocker. Throw the queen. Then I get the 2k. There's my 2k that I needed. Perfect. Now I'm just debating. I really don't like all these, all his board. He's definitely going to take me out next turn if I don't get rid of some of these guys. He knows that. He probably wants to keep them. 
Swing seven at Lucci. He's going to save him. There's nothing I can really do. I just kind of brace for impact. I do have one blocker. And I do have counter, so I'm not too worried, but... He is hitting pretty hard with some of these guys. I think he's being careful too, because he... He knows that, you know... This is a pretty good match. Lucci and, and Black Luffy are notorious for being a pretty good matchup, in my opinion, at least. Black against Black Mirror matches are always fun, too. So he swings at me for seven. I don't want to take it. Pain if I should block it. I think I'm going to counter out of it. I just take it. Got another 2k. It's what I needed. Now I can definitely block. Oh, wow. That was me. So if he just would have swung at me for, for face, he might have had me. But he's being cautious. He swings at six. I'm going to counter out of that, of course. I got to. Another six face. I'm going to counter out of that. He's going to swing nine. Surprise, surprise. I'm going to take it. I pull a jack. We're at 10 dawn. Now, this is where it gets, you know very heated because it could go either way right now depending on what i do right now is the matter of me dying or living <laughs> so i'm really thinking about it weighing out my options hmm. i think i could go sabo and discard gecko because i'm not gonna make it another game if i don't get it done now he still has the blocker up i can get rid of this i can get rid of brook i can swing Hmm. Swing seven at life. Or maybe Luchi. I'm gonna swing to his face for eight. Because I'm a 6k leader now, because then I dropped Gecko and Sabo. We're gonna swing with Gecko. He's done his purpose. We're gonna get rid of Luchi. I think he might counter out of it. I don't know if he wants to lose the cards. I hope he did. Yes, that's what I wanted. I have a chance. So. I don't have any blockers, but I do have four cards in hand. I don't think he... He might think I have 2Ks. I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him with 7. I'm so glad he hit me with that 6 at first. If he would have hit me with 7, I just... I would have been toasted right there. I think he's debating on if he's gonna play another... Gecko or something, or is he just gonna swing face? Again, if he would just put all that on Rebecca and swing at me, and then swing again at Gecko, I'd be toasted. I think he's being cautious. I got a Jack. Got a Brook. What you gonna do, buddy? I 
I think he's really thinking about me. Oh, there it is. So he could have he could have had the game, but I just I don't know what happened. Maybe he knew that maybe he thought that if he didn't get me this turn, I was going to get him the next turn. So let's see. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it doesn't I don't think he had enough. He had two two K's. He I don't know. He might have been able to get out of it, but that was the first game. It was it was a pretty good game. Had me sweating. It could have. I, I feel like he would have won it if he didn't quit. But I mean, that's how games go, I guess. Now in this next game, I believe I go against a carrot. So. I, I played a couple games and I went against a black yellow Luffy and a Doffy and I, I won against both of them but sadly I did not get the video I also lost against somebody I want to say another black yellow I lost against but then I realized I wasn't recording so I recorded my next game which was this carrot game and I got a pretty good hand. I was able to not get anything off of that. Just waiting on them. I know that uh, Car Carrot's a lot like Bonnie, to where they want you to spam the board so they can knock, they can rest your characters and take you out. So that going into it, so going into this, I didn't want to really put too much out on the board. I kind of wanted to like starve them and just kind of hold on to my 2Ks and stuff and use those. And I really didn't want them to build board because if they build board, then I am toasted. I was just reading everybody's abilities. Let's see. What you gonna do, Carrot? Debo King. Okay. I got a Sunny. So it's it's nice if you pull it the first, you know, two turns. But it didn't really seem like it. It seems like it doesn't really matter too much with all the eight you know seven k i got four jacks i got the sabos plus one on my leader if i put a dawn so if that's at an eight you know jack's at like a 12. so i swing it two against the ugly furry i can tell that they want a counter out of it but they also want cards in hand and so they quit and that's crazy. Uh, I think they knew it was coming. Or maybe... Who knows? Maybe they had pizza at the door. <laughs> so we're going to go into this other game. It's a Marco. And my two top frustrating decks to go against, I think, is Lucci and Marco. So I beat the, the Lucci. I felt lucky. The Marco, I'm terrified of because blue and red is just such a good, good combo. I really want to be cautious. I really want to take my time. I don't want to misplay. I have, I am so notorious for misplaying. I don't do anything. I don't want to put anything out on the board. I just kind of want to hold on to that 2k because I know he's going to swing at my face. And that's what he does. So I'm going to get rid of him. Kind of out of that. He throws out a Doffy blocker. 
which I don't know much about Marco, but I just I didn't know that Marcos were running Doco Doki blockers, but that's it's it's pretty cool. So it makes sense. Doffy's definitely a blue blocker staple. So I got another 2k, that's great. I got an Ice Age to hold on to. I could, I have four, I'm gonna drop the Ice Age. I wanna get rid of that blocker. It's just a perfect play. Had to do it. Put out the brook, swing five at face. It's gonna take it. Don one, I'm reading his ability. Negative two thousand on a character. So he puts negative two on my brook. I think he's obviously he's gonna take him out if he can. I'm okay because Brook did his job at the end of the day. <laughs> if I get anything else out of him, it's just a bonus at this point. There was another blocker. He's stacking his deck. He's really planning out what what he's gonna do. That's that's the thing about blue, is they really are about Doffy, and it seems like Marco too. They they can they're really good at stacking their decks. So they're good long game. So I really want to rush him. It's gonna swing at my face. I can counter out of it. I don't know if I want to give him the card because it could hurt me in the end game. It could really bite me. I got the two Ks. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna counter out of it for eight. Pull the jack. Don't have enough. But I can throw him. Hmm. Get rid of him. And there's another blocker out of my way. I'm gonna put one on Brook for five. Swing a face. Oh, he he could counter out of it. He has seven cards in hand, and he takes it. I'm gonna swing it face again. He's gotta counter this one, or I'm just gonna keep. There he goes. Okay, I'll keep swinging. <laughs> Gets rid of my brook. Pull blocker, Nico. I'm at eight. Let's see. I just don't really have a wreath. I can hold on to him because he doesn't have anything on board. You know, I, I want to drop Nico because she's good for second. You know, if I can get her a stick now, I could play her next game. I end up doing the blocker and then just swinging at his face for nine. He takes it. I don't blame him. I don't know if I could counter out a nine. Well, I mean, he, he probably had enough cards. Maybe he's just not. Maybe he's just bricked up. I don't know. He could have countered out of that. Hmm. So I'm at four, he's at one. He has nothing on board. I mean, I only have a blocker, but it just, it does not look good for him. He has enough cards to drop a body. Rather it's gonna be a blocker or not. So he has six cards. If he doesn't drop a block, mm. Yep, there you go. Marco. On KO, you can trash and then just bring him back. Marco's just like a never ending effect. He's like a little loop. <laughs> as long as you got the cards in hand, you can keep throwing him back out. So now he's got somebody on, on to go against me. He's definitely trying to build board. I want to drop Sabo, discard, and I'm gonna get rid of him. And then my magic number seven, I'm gonna swing, but because I got an eight leader, or because I got an eight character on board, 
when I dawn one, my Ruby should go up to six, so I should be swinging eight. And now that he got that Marco back on board, I'm reading his effects, realizing that, you know, you can just keep spamming him. So I decided to swing at him again, just to try and throw him in the, uh, his trash. It was a hard debate. I really wanted to swing at his face. I think he knew that. <laughs> so he throws him again. Big shocker. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Two good staples for blue and red right here. Unfortunately, I don't know if that's going to be enough because if he can't make it the next turn, then it's not really going to matter how many bodies she have on board. So he's going to swing face. Uh, I'm tempted to, t to not take it, but I did just to see what I could get because I needed more cards in hand. I got a 2k. So I can use who's who to get rid of the Marco. Drop a blocker, but I really feel like if I don't, if I don't win, if I don't go at face this game, then I'm going to lose next, next one. So I drop blocker, I drop the who's who, negative cost, get rid of him, swing, seven, he only has four cards in hand. Two cards in hand. There's no way he can counter out of this. I'm going to swing six. Unless he has it. Oh, and he does. All right, guys. Well, I, it's it could be GG's. Sure. Finds a King Do. Hmm. He has eight dawn. He could swing at me three times. I got one blocker. So I don't think it's game. He tries to take out my Sabo. I'm going to let him have it. Swings at me with Riley. Riley. I'm going to take it. Get a brook. So... So he's gonna swing at me again for nine. I'm gonna have to take it. So I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna go at face. Cause there's nothing I can really do at this point. I can't get rid of all his board. And he knew it. He knew I was gonna swing face. He. Did not. He had two two Ks, but that wasn't gonna be enough to counter out of my attacks because I was just gonna put. I was just gonna put them all on, who's who and queen, and just keep swinging at them. So, that was a good game. That was GG's, bro. So if you guys liked the video, please like and subscribe. I know I really enjoyed making it, and I'd love to make more in the future. I love playing One Piece and I definitely enjoy playing Sims on my downtime when I'm trying to relax. And, you know, I want to upload the content, you know, so I hope you guys love it. And let me know in the comments what you guys think about the deck, if I should change something or, you know, if there's some, if you decide to run it, what's something that works better for you guys? You know, I'm definitely interested. You know, let me know what decks you're running. Let me know what decks you hate. I personally am not a fan of yellow. But I still think that it's a very great deck to play. So you guys take it easy. I'm Ghoul and I'll see you next time.